qui me connaît Fabrice depuis 40 ans et 9 mois. Donc je suis la personne qui me connaît depuis le plus longtemps. I've known Fabrice uh, since he's born. I knew Fabrice before he knew how to talk to girls. Since I've been born, uh, given that he's my brother, so 29 years. Fabrice is, by now, one of my oldest friends, which is not to say, Fabrice, that you are old. We met in 1999. 14 years ago. I met Fabrice in New York about seven years ago. I've known Fabrice since 2005, I think. I arrived at McKinsey a few weeks before Fabrice. And then one day I came and there was a name next to mine, Fabrice Grinda. And I remember thinking, oh brother, I'm gonna have an annoying Frenchman as an office mate. I think I was pretty awkward back then, and he was too, um, so I think it probably was awkward. He used to be just like Sheldon Cooper. He actually looks like him. He used to be like a, this very introverted, shy genius. But when I met him, he was very different from who he was today. He was a student of mine. A professor doesn't often remember all the hundreds and hundreds of undergraduates he's had. After some online flirtation, we decided that we would meet up in person and we would greet each other uh, with a kiss. And my first impression was, wow, this is a big kid with lots of toys. Fabrice avait un tilt tous les matins. Il allumait la télé à New York. Il avait 5-6 ans. Il regardait la météo et il faisait le tour des champs pour dire comment on devait s'habiller. He was driving. We stopped at McDonald's because we were hungry. And we go through the toll. And at the toll, we realized we don't have any cash to pay the toll. Um, and so at that point, he goes and negotiates uh, to pay two chicken nuggets to the toll guy in order to let us pass because we don't have any money to pay the toll. We go play tennis. I mean, he's a really good tennis player, and I'm not a really good tennis player. So we get out there, and he beats me 6-0. <laughs> and I'll never forget one time, I beat him one set. And I'll never forget the look on his face. He looked at me, and he's just like, that will never happen again. Funny stories about Fabrice, there's many. Back at his house in uh, Long Island. So a huge house, fantastic setup. He met this girl on a dating site and he invited her to his house. And this lady arrives and Fabrice decides it's a good idea to go play frisbee. And he gives it to, to this lady. So she does this kind of weird move of her arm and hits Fabrice with the frisbee. and Knocked him in the head with it. Fabrice passes out, he faints. Last thing he remembers as he's losing consciousness is the girl kind of running into a cab, thinking like I guess she had killed him or something. Fabrice woke up like two hours afterwards with um, Harvard or Bagheera, you know, his, his dog's actually licking his wounds. To this day, he can still laugh about him. And the question that we hesitate to ask, in any case, is if he prefers his parents or his dogs. I have a lot of things about Fabrice. It's and so Fabrice is just a constant friend. My friendship with Fabrice has meant lots and lots and lots of discussions with my wife. Fabrice, that I knew at that age, has developed in an unbelievable way. And so, you know, you've seen this kid, this kind of flower. If you know Clark Kent, the Superman, I have to think of uh, Fabrice in that sense. The Clark Kent always presented himself and was a shy, kind of ordinary sort of guy and so on, and then he was Superman. <laughs> Regardless of where Fabrice is in the world, I know that if I need help on anything else, I call him. And even if he's, you know, heli skiing in deepest, outermost, remotest regions of Canada, I know as soon as he can get to a phone, he'll call me back. And I think that's something that's very special about him. No matter what Fabrice has going on in his life, he always has time for true friendship. I haven't been so brave or I've had some trouble believing in myself and Fabrice has always believed in me. Fabrice, you have always believed in me and that has always made a difference. Thank you. I mean, I think he is one of my favorite, favorite people in the world. And I think if I needed a kidney, I think you'd give it to me um, and I'd give him mine. So, yeah. It's very hard to think about one word for that man. Unique. Passionate. All in. Hyperactive. <laughs> I'd have to say determined. Genius. Very driven. Entrepreneur. Ambitious. Competitive. A sweetheart. He's an oxymoron. He's very loved. Optimism and modesty. Impressive. A justified megalomaniac. Tendresse permanente. 
beaucoup d'affection. He has a very good opinion of himself. Un mot, je dirais, je dirais généreux. En deux, loyal. Excentrique. Exuberant. Passionnant, c'est en fait un mélange de passionné et de fatigant. Peter Pan. Even though he's 40 years old, he is still the boy who will never grow up. Amazing. Free spirit. Obstiné. Un grand gamin talentueux. Playful. Brilliant. One word would be bazinga. There it is. Friend. What I want to wish to Fabrice is that the next 80 years are going to be as nice, wonderful, and interesting and motivating as the first 40 that he had. Je souhaite d'être heureux. Je souhaite vraiment d'être heureux. But find ways of being happy and excited in life that don't require achievement. Il est comme les grands vins, il se bonifie avec le temps. The best day ever. My advice for Fabrice um, is not to be so lazy. You know, really uh, put, put yourself out there, Fabrice. Try and, try and maximize your time a little bit. Fabrice, remember you're 40. Have a family. Is that you find uh, love in someone else with half as big a heart as you have, you'll be very lucky. Dude, listen to me. You're 40. You need to get married. Come on. To settle down, it's about time. Happy birthday, Fabrice. Uh, happy 40th. Um, we're all getting old, uh, whether you like it or not. Happy birthday, my friends. Happy birthday, Fabrice. You are 40. Deal with it. Fabrice, be careful. Please make it to your 40th birthday. You thought that becoming 40 was going to be a tragedy? Man, it's the best thing. Feliz cumpleaños, Fabrice. Happy birthday, buddy. La mentiane, Fabrice. Happy birthday, Fabrice. Eh, uh, nem narodzenia. Ya bajayu, ya bajayu, Fabrice. Happy birthday en français to you. Feliz cumpleaños, Fabrice. Eh bien, joyeux anniversaire, mon fils chéri. Fabrice, happy birthday. Feliz cumpleaños, Fabrice. Feliz Navidad, Fabrice. Feliz Navidad. What the hell did I just say? Fabrice, happy birthday. Feliz cumpleaños, Fabrice. Happy birthday, Fabrice! Bon anniversaire, Fabrice! Say hey, Fabrice, happy birthday! Happy Fabrice! Joyeux anniversaire, Fabrice! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Fabrice! We love you! Happy 40th! Happy birthday! Feliz cumpleaños, Fabrice! Happy birthday, Fabrice. Bon anniversaire. Joyeux anniversaire, Fabrice. Feliz cumpleaños. Que cumplas muchos más. Bye.